I really treasure that early part of my, you know, uh, life in New York when I was a firefighter with Engine uh, 55 in the early 80s. Everyone needs a backup plan. But if fame and fortune hadn't worked out, what would some of these Hollywood types have done? Tell me where Bonnie is, else this guy gets it! I don't even know this guy. What the hell do I care? Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 celebrities who could have had alternate careers. To push you out of the light. Now you're getting nasty. For this list, we're looking at those stars and famous personalities who have achieved notable success, popularity, and fame in the public eye. but who also had potential to be successful in alternate career paths. We've ranked these celebs based on our surprise and interest in finding out what could have been. I'm ready, Max. I've been down here too long. Number 10, Ken Jeong, physician. Do you smoke cigarettes? No. Do you smoke cigarettes? I have on occasion. On occasion when? When was the last time you had one cig? You know, one, you know, well, mm. I need to know, or I will not be your doctor. Given his notable appearances in hugely popular comedic roles and his spectacular over-the-top style, you'd think comedy was the obvious career path for Ken Jeong. But not only did Jeong graduate from medical school, he is also, to this day, a licensed physician in the state of California. Foundation, I, I yeah. was born at Oxner. I can't believe you worked at my hospital. Yes, you, yes. You, my you, dad delivered her, maybe. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> in his downtime from his studies, though, he tried his hand at stand-up comedy and has since made a career out of that hobby, as evidenced by his screen appearances in The Hangover and Community. I am a Spanish genius. In Espanol, my nickname is El Tigre. Chino! Ah! The lesson here? It's never too late to chang your career path. So long, gay boys! Number 9. Danny DeVito, hairdresser. Okay, fine. I've always wanted to do a beauty pageant. But what will you do after school? A lot of us don't know. And neither did Danny DeVito. So after graduating high school, he went to work in his sister's hair salon. From that moment on, I was indebted to my sister for the rest of my life because there were 40 girls my age wanting to be hairdressers in there, or about three guys. So it was like really a fantastic job. Becoming quite skilled at his craft, he began to apply his skills to the deceased, doing their hair in preparation for their funerals. Who's that? He's the mortician. I invited him. Oh, you brought the mortician. Okay, well, that's not going to seem strange to anybody at all. Eventually, his acting talent would land him parts in plays and movies. Hit me. Five. Hit me. Hit me. Huh? Hit me. You didn't make a bet, Martini. I can't hit you. Yeah, Jesus I bet it dined. Huh? I bet it dined. But to be honest, we still can't get over the idea of the penguin doing anyone's hair. Especially considering what his own looks like. Hey, a cool drink of ice water. <sighs> Number eight, Ryan Reynolds, police officer. You asked me to help you, and I'm here to help. Ryan Reynolds' whole look can be summarized by the one word, hunk. I want to marry you because you're the first person that I want to look at when I wake up in the morning and the only one I want to kiss goodnight. It's no secret that he's defined himself by such archetypes as the hopeless romantic and the likable action star. <laughs> but before all that, this Vancouverite might have been wearing blue for the public eye. Reynolds has two older brothers, both of whom are police officers, and he stated in interviews that he once considered joining them. <laughs> that actually scared the shit out of me. Number seven, Meryl Streep, singer. Romance with sheer perfection. As if she wasn't talented enough already, right? In her youth, Meryl Streep once showed tremendous singing talent and even studied opera for four years. I'm the hitch, I'm what no one believes, I'm the witch. You're all liars and thieves like his father. Thank the gods of movies, though, that Streep made the decision to pursue a career in acting instead. 
Streep has since had a few chances to show off her singing talents in movies, though. And Mamma Mia, she's certainly got some skill. Number 6. Gene Simmons, Rabbi Is it possible to play the devil's music and worship the Lord at the same time? Well, you can always ask Gene Simmons, the co-founder of the ever-popular hard rock band KISS. Before this Israel-born rocker ever stuck his tongue out on stage, he attended a yeshiva, where he briefly studied to become a rabbi. Not much more info than that. All we know is that he then heard the calling of rock and roll and he followed it. How's your back, Gene? <laughs> my, my back is good. My, sh my schmeckel, not so much. That's very nice of you to joke about. It's a joke. Where are you going? Number five, James Stewart, architect. Anything else bothering you? Mm hmm. Who are you? When you look back at Hollywood royalty, you'd think these actors were born to become legends. That's not always the case, though. <laughs> Jimmy Stewart, the star who gave us so many spectacular performances, once had his sights set on architecture. Or at least, that's what his father wanted him to do, as he persuaded him to enroll at Princeton University. Once there, Stewart showed great promise studying architecture at the Ivy League school, but enjoyed the educational institution's theater and drama clubs much more. And this is where he found his true passion. I know, I have acrophobia, which gives me vertigo, and I get dizzy. Boy, what a moment to find out I had it. We don't know if he actually had problems with vertigo, but if he did, it was probably a good idea that he avoided designing buildings. No! I heard voices. God have mercy. Number four, Sting, Teacher. Young teacher, the subject of school girl fantasy. Once upon a time, this British rocker had more on his mind than just music. For one thing, in his early life, he qualified and worked as a teacher for two years. evenings and on weekends, he played jazz in nightclubs, honing his craft. It wasn't until the late 70s that he and the police made it big. just wonder if he ever performed any of his music for his students, cause considering some of the police's work, some of the songs would have been cool, but others would have been creepy. Number 3. Steve Buscemi, Firefighter I, you know, when I was a kid, when I was five and I saw the fire trucks go by, you know, you say, wow, sure. that looks great. Yeah. And then that feeling goes away after you really, when you get older when you realize what they actually do. We all know this celeb for his signature look. Lesser known, though, is Steve Buscemi's work as a firefighter in New York. Buscemi worked for several years at FDNY's Engine 55 and still supports New York firefighters to this day. Is this a f***ing joke here? A good guy to the core. After the tragedy of 9-11, Buscemi volunteered to work with the company to look through the rubble. Firefighters are great at, you know, helping the public. They're great at helping each other. They're not so adept at, you know, asking for help or even knowing that they need it. And certainly 9-11 brought that to the forefront. For most actors, their pre-acting career jobs were just for the cash. But for Buscemi, it seems to have really mattered. Let's try and figure out who the bad guy is, all right? Wow, <laughs> that was really exciting. Number two, Harrison Ford, Carpenter. Hi. 
Walk down any street in LA, and you should be able to throw a rock and hit an actor who has a day job on the side. And lithic. I T H I C, meaning stone. For Harrison Ford, before he hit it big, of course, that day job was carpentry, which he took up to support his family. And I only worked at night, so I didn't have to mix up people's minds about what I did for a living. Those skills allowed him to be hired by George Lucas, who then cast Ford in American Graffiti. Hey, I like the color of your car there, man. What's that supposed to be? Sort of a cross between piss yellow and puke green, ain't it? Though he nabbed some small film roles, Ford kept at the carpentry, and in the late 70s, was asked by Lucas to run lines with other actors who are auditioning for Star Wars. Yeah, Oscar. Yes, I bet you have. Eventually, he would be cast in that too, and the rest is history. From a long time ago, in a galaxy far... well, you get the idea. I'm not in it for you, princess. I expect to be well paid. I'm in it for the money. You needn't worry about your reward. If money is all that you love, then that's what you'll receive. Before we reveal the alternate destiny of our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. You know that I would be a liar If I was to say to you chase them all out at the end, but left one in there and I'd go in and... This particular line was really Ryan's more like a dog. Right? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I, I would do things with the whip. Oh, really? Invite him out for a drink and then after about 20 minutes casually drop into the conversation the fact that you'd like to marry him and have lots of sex and babies. You know that? Yes. Thank you, Mr. Corliss. Were you charged with perjury in this incident, DJ? No, I was not. Is that because the prosecution was complicit in your confession? Judge. Number one, Tom Cruise, Catholic priest. I feel the need, the need for speed. We're pretty sure we're not surprising anyone when we say that Tom Cruise is really into religion. Like in a calm down buddy kind of way. Dweller H. But Scientology was not always his brand of choice. Growing up, Thomas Cruise Maypother IV was raised Catholic. And he briefly attended a seminary to become a priest. Show me the money! Take a moment to imagine a world without Tom Cruise saying such lines as Talk to me, Goose. And You Complete me. And remember, the world is out one surprisingly short priest. Wait, 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 wait. I love you. Do you agree with our list? Of course not. <laughs> What alternate careers for celebrities do you think are the most interesting? What was the question? For more entertaining top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Yeah.